Welcome back. In this one, we're looking at how to improve our sign-up page because if a user adds anything that is not uh, an email address, it will still accept because the only thing we're checking for is that it's not empty. Also, a user can type in uh, just numbers in this, uh, for example, it will consider that not empty and give him a numbered name. So we have to make sure that all these, uh, that's not what's happening, okay? So we have to check if this is not numeric and we have to check that uh, this one is an actual email, okay? So let's go back in. So you can add as many uh, checking parameters as you want. So in order to change this, we have to go to our signup.php class. This is the, the file in classes. So because this is the place where we actually check if it's empty and then we create an error. So we have to check for some more things. For example, let me copy this. So I'm just going to copy this and put it here. So it checks if it's empty, then it's going to write that is empty. And then let's check also if email. Uh, so I'm going to say if, so we check if the key is equal to email. So I'm going to say if key is equal to email, then we go through here. Now in here, to check for an email address, we use what is called a regular expression but this is beyond the scope of this video. So we're going to learn about uh, regular expressions, hopefully in future. But here, just copy this text and paste it. So here we go. I'll zoom in for you to see properly. Oh, what have I done? So I need to move this error in here. So this error is going to be, we don't need to get the key, we're just going to say, please enter a valid, or I could simply say invalid email. Invalid email address, something like that. So if key is equal to email, this is when it will check this. So this is the function by PHP called pregmatch. And then there's what is called a regular expression in here. And it's checking to see the value. So I need to get that value here instead of using email there, it should be value. So it's checking to see if the value matches this. But then there's a not there, which means if it doesn't match this, then show an error, okay? So also we can check if the key is equal to first name and last name and make sure that those are not numbers as well. So let me duplicate this twice. If key is equal to first name and then on this other one, if it's equal to last name. So if they're like this, let's add an if statement here and say, if is numeric. So this is a function by PHP, which checks if a value is a number. So if it's numeric like this, then write the error that uh, this is last name. So we're going to say last name can't be a number something like that. Okay. So instead of doing this again, let me just copy this and then just change to first name. Okay. So we have improved our error checking here just by doing these things. So first of all, we are checking if it's empty. If it's true, then we send an error. If it's uh, the email is incorrect, we send an error. If the first name 
is numeric, we send an error and so on. And then here, if there's any errors, uh, we return the error instead. So let's try this out. Let me come back here and let me put a number and hit there. So first name can't be a number, password is email. And then let me try and put something that is not really an email here. So invalid email address. So this is better security for us. And so, so far so good. So from now on, our sign up is complete. This is all we needed to do. Now we have at least one record in the database. All right. So as we move on, we're going to create more users as we add to our social website page. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.